What's up guys, it's the CH and welcome back to our 15th video on building a CMS with PHP. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create a file that goes inside our includes folder and we're gonna call this includes. Let's go ahead and open up our text editor. We're gonna call this, nope, go to file new. And we're gonna call this functions.php. So save it really quick to our includes folder. It's already there, so let's go ahead and title it functions. Dot PHP. And even though we don't have any functions yet, this is going to be perfect for future reference. So let's go ahead and save this and we'll give it PHP tags. Couldn't hurt. Maybe give it a comment. This is for basic functions or just functions. This is for. We actually do basic functions because we might do other functions outside of this. So, okay, we already saved it. And uh, we're going to source this into a web page. So let's go ahead and go to our. Go back one step in our, into our root folder. And I'm going to source this into our ph or into our content.php page. So I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to use TextMate. Okay, and I'm going to put this on one line. I'm just going to back. Nothing's going to change, but since now that we're going to add something here, I don't want to confuse you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this all on one line, and we want to source this folder in or this file in at the beginning. Of this web page loading, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it and put it up there. But instead, we changed it to functions.php, and we're not going to use the PHP function of include because if we use include for this, it's going to spit back an error saying that we used it too many times or something. Something. So we're going to use the PHP function called require once. And I know you guys are thinking I'm making this all up, but I'm not. If you don't believe me, go to php.net, type in require once. It's going to let us know what's going on with it right here. Require once statement is identical to require, except PHP will check if the file has already been included. Okay, so that's exactly the PHP function that we want to have right here. Require once to pull in our functions.php page if there are functions, and there will be functions. So good luck with this. I hope you guys followed along. And in the next video, we're going to go ahead and connect our database into our HTML with PHP. So good luck.